Hello, uh, in the previous uh, video, I have uploaded 10 questions and I asked you to uh, submit your answers in the recommend box. So I got so many answers. So let's see uh, what is the correct answer and uh, you can check your progress. So the first question was uh, in Python, a variable must be declared before it is assigned a value. So no, uh, this uh, statement is not correct. So the correct answer is B, that is false. So the correct answer of this uh, question is B. Second question was, uh, what is the output of the following program? So as you can see that uh, this question can, uh, contains a range function means it will generate a range from zero to one uh, because the two will be exclude, we know that. So after that, it will print all the value of uh, a range. So zero and one will be printed and it will not change the line because we have updated the end over here, okay? And after that, uh, another range I have uh, calculated from four to six. So it will include only four and five. So the correct answer is the uh, first uh, for loop will print a zero one and second for loop will print four five. So the current, uh, correct answer is uh, option C that is zero one four five. Next question uh, was, uh, which of the following is invalid? So uh, you can declare any uh, variable uh, and I have already explained that what is the, the naming convention that you need to follow when you declare any variable. So underscore is permissible in uh, variable name. So it is not a problem. It is also not a problem. And uh, this is also not a problem. So we can say that the option D is correct. That is none of these. Next question uh, was, what is the output of the following program? So as you can see here, i is equal one, okay? And while true i mod uh, three double equal to zero, then it will break, then otherwise it will print i and end with uh, no changing line. But here you can see that uh, I have written the syntax i plus is equal one. So I have already explained that when you write this kind of syntax, then e space should not be here, okay? So uh, this will raise error. So no output is displayed due to syntactical error. This is the syntactical error in uh, our program. So the correct answer is D, that is no output. Next question was, what is the output of the following program? So as you can see here, i is initialized with two. So uh, while we'll uh, execute uh, until it is true. So uh, i mod three is equal equal zero. So no, in this condition gets false. So it will print the value of i. So as you can see, i is two. So it will print the value of i and it will increase the i value by two. So now i will become four. So again, it will go and check that uh, i mod uh, three is equal zero no again condition false so it will print the value of i that is four and now i will become six so now uh, if it goes again and then it checks then it will find that i mod three is equal to zero then it will break whenever it will break then it will come out from the loop so the output uh, would be only that is option b two four Next question was, uh, which of the following is correct variable name in Python? So this is uh, also a variable uh, name of the variable. This is also because uh, we cannot start with the digit, but we can start with the underscore. Underscore is permissible. So both uh, are correct. So the uh, correct answer is C, that is both are correct. Next question was, uh, what is the output of the following expression? As you can see here, three into one exponential three. So here, uh, one thing you need to understand that which uh, part will execute first. So here, uh, the associativity uh, will check first. And uh, uh, as you can say that uh, this uh, exponential will high, uh, um, execution order so it will first calculate the cube of one so one cube three is equal to one and after that it will multiply with three so the answer will be three okay and uh, next question was uh, is state true or false python is case sensitive language so yes python is a case sensitive language so the correct answer is a that is true and uh, ninth question was uh, which of the following is not a keyword so add is not a keyword we have uh, used so many times add but in the form of functions so you can declare the variables uh, in your program uh, not uh, no problem so yield uh, global elif are uh, the keywords and if you want to find uh, which one is keyword i have already explained that how to find the keywords in a current version of python so the correct answer is B, that is add.
Next question was, uh, what would be the value of variable y if the following set of the instruction executed? So we have learned the type casting, we have learned uh, the uh, type promotion. So here, uh, when you pass a float value into int function, so after decimal point, all the value will be discarded. So y will become only four. So correct answer is, that is a four, okay? So I hope uh, all the questions are clear and uh, all the questions explanation are clear. If you still have doubt, then you can put your queries. So here is uh, your uh, answer keys. First B, 2C, 3D, 4D, 5B, 6C, 7A, 8A, 9B, and 10A. So this is your quiz answer key. So thank you for participating in quiz. Uh, keep learning, keep, uh, enha keep enhancing your uh, knowledge in Python. So please like, comment, and share your views. Don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.